So what's up everyone? How's it going? So back in the year 1536 to 1541, there was a famous painter you all may know. Kate, what's his name? I believe it's Michelangelo. Michelangelo and not the Ninja Turtle. So between the years 1536 and 1541, like Tate said, Michelangelo, the famous painter, in the Sistine, in the Sistine Chapel, is that right? The Sistine Chapel, yeah. So, yeah. so okay, so in the Sistine Chapel, Painted on behind the altar, there is a painting that is famously known by the name of Michelangelo Last Judgment. The Last Judgment. Um, if you look at the bottom of the screen, okay, Tate, I want you, I want your reaction on what the bottom of the screen is. So, so real quick, let me just look at the whole picture, and we'll yeah. zoom, then you zoom into the part. Okay, that, that is of interest. Yeah. So, okay. Now remember everyone, this was painted in the year 1500s, so the, the mid-1500s. This was way before any Patterson and Gimbel footage, any of the, of the, the sounds you hear, any of, way before the Squatch Watchers. And, and just take this in, everyone. This was a vision that Michelangelo had, and he, he painted it for a lot The of, Last Judgment. A lot of naked, in-shape dudes, for one thing. Yeah. And then, oh. I think I see what you're talking down about. Down in the bottom in the cave. I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so... Sasquatch. I think it's a Sasquatch. Fallen angel. A fallen angel. Mm -hmm. and, and if you look, it's hiding. Okay, it's hiding because of the Last Judgment. Why would it be hiding? Because it was one of the fallen angels, possibly, mm -hmm. of that theory. If you look to the right of the screen, less than what would probably be a hundred yards from the the Sasquatch, and if you look, I, I guess in that time, right. there's stuff. It looks like it's coming out of hell, and that thing is hiding now. And there's also a thing that's horned. Is the horn thing what they call the shapeshifter skinwalkers? Is the Bigfoot the fallen angels? Who knows? I don't know. I'm no expert. No one's an expert, and I know this has been mentioned in books before. I know it's been posted before, but it's something that caught my mind. It caught my attention the other day, and and I sent it to the group and. Tate, just just what do you think of it? I mean, it zoomed in. He that is what we know as a Bigfoot, and this was painted in the 1500s. Well, it, it gives me cold chills, but also satisfaction at the same time because, you know, along with David and Toby, at these cons we speak at, we've been leaning towards this philosophy for a very yes. long time now about is Bigfoot interdimensional, fallen angel, um, trying to tie it to biblical sources. And that's a good start right there. Yeah. So my question would be, what inspired Michelangelo to paint this Bigfoot coming out of hell with the rest of the demons on this painting? Or what did he know that is not common knowledge within biblical speaking? Yeah, and if, and if you look at that creature, it looks like Patty. Look at the two. It does. Okay. Oh, so there's a male and female. Yeah. They're saying the one on the right is a male, and the one on the left that's crouched down looks more like a female. And if you look at that female that's painting in the 1500s, and you look at the picture of Patty, they look very, very similar. And for people that haven't seen this, look it up for yourself, because I'm no expert on this. And I did look at the uh, year. I know the year because I got it right, because thank God for Google. And I know that Michelangelo's painted it, and it's called Michelangelo's Last Judgment. If you look at this painting, look it up and look at the very the center of the picture, you'll see a little cave at the very bottom in the center, and you'll see a Bigfoot in a cave, a male and a female. And then I looked at something also else, and it just caught my attention. There's a guy in the picture, and he's holding a, like a, a skin of a human. And it's like, did he kill a skinwalker? I have no clue. There, that picture's got so much stuff in it, and it was a vision and a painting that he did in the 1500s, way before any of our Bigfoot community even started. But we just wanted to get that out there. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's just like Bigfoot is not just some monkey in the woods everybody's trying to find. This, no. this brings out and opens a whole new can of worms for the entire community as to what exactly is Bigfoot. So what do you think at home? Drop a comment below. Let us know what you think Bigfoot is. Uh, if you have any biblical scripture to back this up, post that below and yes, talk about that. Yeah, Give it I want to know. Yeah. yeah, help us. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's definitely not about attention. It's about we want to know, just like everyone out there. But 
practically with this picture, this painting, we're trying to figure out what is the significant meaning behind it. Because artists always put those nuances and it's vision. Yeah, the, all the visions and all the sim, sim, symbolism, all the symbolism in there. So we're trying to figure out what this symbolism is between the Bigfoot's coming out of a cave or hell and what it has to do with Sasquatch What's in the grand scheme of things. Yep. Yeah, well, what does it have to do with it? So let us know. Like I said, like we will always say, we're listening and we want to hear your stories. And this is just one that I wanted to get out there and, and, and help me with it because I'm no expert. And I know Michelangelo had the vision and he painted it, but what put that in his mind? And why, why did it come to my mind the other day? And I'm speechless. So let's hear your stories. Help us with this one. Share this. Get it out there because I want to know what people think he would put that in there for. Yes, please save us the long, long, excruciating, agonizing pain of studying and going <laughs> down rabbit holes trying to figure out on the internet what this means. If you have anything that can help with this, Share it with us and the community and let everybody know what is his significance with Michelangelo's Last Judgment, Bigfoot coming out of hell. Or and hiding from hell. Hiding from hell. Hiding from God, perhaps. Yes. Yeah, that's the Last Judgment. So, food for thought. A lot of things food for thought. Join this community. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, we're listening. We're listening. And guess what? It's not about us. It's about you. Keep squatching.